Because of what happens here. And I go do the key to endure enough support. I think that's my size. What ceremony is complete without a flyby? Geese briefly interrupted Fort Meade Senior Installation Commander Major General Alan Pepin at this week's Fort Meade Garrison Change of Command. Much more from the parade field in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week there's a wellness fair coming up and the exchange announces its annual contribution. These stories and more, but first we return to McLaughlin Parade Field. The Fort George G. Meade Garrison Commander is often described as the town mayor. It's a town with a population of more than 63,000, so it's a big job. This week, Team Meade bid farewell to Colonel Chris Nyland and welcomed Colonel Michael Sapp as the new Garrison Commander. Speakers included Major General Pepin and the reviewing officer, Mr. Davis Tyndall, the Director of Installation Management Command Sustainment Directorate. I want to thank Colonel Chris Nyland and wife, Christy, for their leadership and commitment to Fort Meade and this great community during Chris's tenure as a garrison commander. I also would like to welcome Colonel Nyland's parents, Wally and Judy, watching from Washington to witness this great soldier relinquish his very successful command. Well, Chris, well done. Truly, you will be missed. I personally thank you. But as always, when we bid farewell to the outgoing command team, we welcome a new one. And today, we welcome Colonel Michael Sapp and his wife, Heather. Colonel Sapp brings extensive experience to his new position. A military academy graduate, commissioned as an armor officer before transitioning to the intelligence branch. In his remarks, Colonel Nyland praised the garrison team. Team Meade, your legacy is the service members and residents whose lives you impacted. Your legacy is baked into the accomplishment of the critical national security missions of our partners. Your legacy is the safe environment you've maintained throughout the pandemic. Your caring and passion for putting people first ensured we delivered on that promise every day. Thank you. Closing the ceremony, new Garrison Commander Colonel Sapp thanked his predecessor. Chris, I know the time and attention that you've shown me for nearly a month of transition is just a small sample of the energy, focus, and dare I say love that you have poured out to your team, to the mission partners, and to the members of the community. Remembering the community doesn't end at the fence line. In a related story, the latest episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified, features a nearly hour-long conversation with Colonel Nyland. You can access the podcast on the Digital Meade page of our website or wherever you get your podcasts. In other news this week, the Exchange announced their annual contributions to military communities around the world. Here at Fort Meade, the exchange generated more than $1.6 million for quality of life programs in 2021. 100% of the exchange earnings are reinvested in military communities, and most of that going to quality of life programs. You can read about how the exchange supports local communities in their 2021 mission report, available at shopmyexchange.com community. Elsewhere, McLaughlin Parade Field is the site of a joint service wellness fair on Thursday, August 18th. The fair includes screenings for preventive health care, medication turn-ins, family PT, a mental obstacle course, and much more. The big event of the day is an amazing race. It's being described as an interactive kinesthetic event that takes teams through all of the pillars and domains of resilience, wellness, and readiness. Teams are made up of four to six and can be any combination of active duty, civilians, dependents, or contractors. Themes and or costumes are highly encouraged. We posted the link to register multiple times on our Facebook page. You must sign up in advance. For more information, you can contact Addison Seagraves. Finally this week, with the summer leagues winding down, the Lanes has lots to offer going into the fall. We're getting ready for our fall leagues to start, so we have the flyers we just put out for those. But um, our summer program is underway. Thursday, it's $1.75 per game per person, $2 for shoes. That's our that's our best rate. We're going to have some family uh, specials for Wednesday nights for the rest of the month of August. Um, looking forward to just having everybody in here. We're open Monday through Saturday. We have leagues for every style and competitive level of bowling. We have some very fun, low-cost social leagues that bowl on Wednesday night and Thursday night. We have some more competitive handicap leagues for mixed and for, for men only um, that bowl the other nights of the week. On Monday night, we have what is basically a pro-level league that bowls on the one end of the house and then what's called junior gold, which is the highest level of junior bowling, bowling at the other end of the house. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.